Hi everyone, we analyzed over 10,000 data science related interview experiences over the last 10 years. Here's what we found, check it out. How did COVID-19 actually change data science interviews in 2020? What question topics were asked most frequently? How do FANG, Facebook, Amazon, Google, data science interviews differ from other companies? And what are the fastest growing data science positions out there? So at Interview Query, we analyze this data in this video right here. We were predicting what was going to be on your next data science interview. So using that data, we figured out that data science interviews actually plateaued in 2020. Data science interviews only grew by 10% after previously growing by 80% year over year. However, Facebook, Amazon, Google, Netflix, Apple interviewed 25% more data science candidates in 2020 versus 2019, showcasing that the biggest decreases were actually happening in startups. Data engineering specific interviews actually just increased by 40% in the past year by themselves. The second fastest position growth within data science roles after that went to business and data analysts, which increased by 20%. So why is this the case? Why are all these things happening? So to analyze the last data point, I would say that for data engineering specifically, we could see that the data science role itself is being diverted into different kinds of sub roles. Right now, data engineering is getting really hot because we know as a fact that data quality is a huge issue. And a lot of the times data scientists and software engineers spend a ton of their time working on data engineering tasks. So now what's happening is also business and data analysts are coming up because they're also diverting away from data science roles as well. And so we're seeing that also companies want to pay data scientists potentially less money, ending up giving more data analyst roles out as well as business analyst roles. So not on the hiring front, what else did we find out? We found out that FANG companies have all these different requirements for their data science roles. Together, their interviews focus more on coding, algorithms, SQL, and machine learning. While in startup roles, those focused way more on SQL, product, and statistics. And so overall, I would say that generally, the different kinds of data science interview questions is still pretty evenly matched. It's just that we're seeing less and less of different kinds now. Lastly, take home challenges were given to 25% of all data science related interviews. And in Facebook, Amazon, Google, FANG interviews, take home challenges were only given 8% of the time. In the past year, we probably saw a decrease in take home challenges given to the fact that there were less startups actually interviewing people. So this comes down to the ultimate point. What is happening to data science? Uh, is data science really just plateauing out and not going to be growing as fast as before? Yes, probably. But the actual field itself is still growing. It's just not accelerating like it was. Back in 2014, 2015, 2016, we saw these peak rates of growth for data science related fields because all these internet companies were blossoming up and everyone was revealing the power of big data. And now what we're seeing across the board that there was actually a 15% dip in data science specific roles where the title was data scientist, but an increase in every other one. And so that dip most likely came from COVID. But at the same time, since we've seen this growth in other positions, maybe data science as itself is going to be plateauing out. Uh, for the longest time, it seemed like you always needed a PhD to become a data scientist. And then they lowered the requirements. But maybe they're going to be increasing them as these new entry level roles kind of manifest themselves. We'll just have to see from now. But for the most part, I think one thing is pretty clear is that data science is not as hot as it was before. Maybe we're just past the initial peak hype cycle, and in the next 10 to 20 years, it'll be ballooning up even more. But who knows? I can't predict the future. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching.